I wanted to do something really festive for Thanksgiving and I couldn't get my boyfriend, I mean my girlfriend, to dress up as a turkey. So I thought, what would be more festive than eating a bunch of vegan dog shit? Uh, so let's take a look at this tofurkey. And I actually had to stop by three different supermarkets to find this thing. First, I went to Whole Foods. I was like, listen, Whole Foods has got to have this nonsense. And I go to like the frozen meat aisle and there's this middle-aged lady, you know, talking to this worker there. He's like, oh my God, I can't believe you guys are out of tofurkey on Thanksgiving. My vegetarian daughter, can you please like go in the back and check for this? So I was like, oh great, now, now what, I'm not gonna even be able to find this stupid thing. So, so I drive to another grocery store and then the third one had it actually. Uh, you know, I felt like an idiot holding this at the checkout line, but uh, it's kind of funny because I'm like this, this jacked out of my mind, chiseled out of stone, you know, Italian guy holding this, this bullshit. What was even more ridiculous is when I got home and I opened this thing up and I was like, huh, there's more than just uh, this turkey nonsense here. And you know, man, all the, the vegan boys are gonna get real excited for this if you know what I mean. Uh, so we also get uh, a cheesecake. Uh, which you know doesn't 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 look too happy, but I guess I guess vegans need their sweets. Uh, so what are you gonna do? And then we have uh, our, our our gravy slop as well. Uh, th this comes frozen. Uh, I thought it all out. And in regards to preparation, we have to roast this for an hour and twenty minutes, and apparently we have to baste it with soy sauce. Oh, of course, more seasoning and more sugar. Dairy-free cheesecake prep. Thaw in the refrigerator 24 hours prior to consumption. Serve chilled. Hmm, simple enough. I'm gonna glaze this hunk of shit with some soy sauce and uh, then we'll look at the ingredients while it's in the oven. All right, well I don't even have soy sauce, so I guess we're just gonna roll with the olive oil like it says. Oh, uh, don't worry about these eggs. They're completely vegan. You know, the, the animals are fed corn and soy, so we're good to go. What is this, like uh, <laughs> some type of like cage for this plant-based demon turkey? How hard is this to get out? Do they have to imprison it so it doesn't poison anyone on its own? What's going on here? Oh man. <laughs> I don't know what these things smell like, man, anymore. It's like some odd combination of chemicals and Thanksgiving spices. So we got this, got some olive oil on it. Uh, I'm gonna pop this in the oven at 350. And again, for those of you guys saying, Frankie boy, you're wasting money. One less person was poisoned on Thanksgiving. Uh, so the demon's in the oven. I shackled it to the oven rack so it doesn't, you know, escape or anything. And, and the oven door's latched shut. So we should be safe. You know, as soon as it awakens from its frozen slumber, you know, we don't have to worry about being attacked. Uh, so let's check out the ingredients of, of each of these things. Roast ingredients. Vital wheat gluten. Modern wheat, very inflammatory, has 42 chromosomes, you know, compared to past strains of wheat. Like Coruscant wheat has 28 chromosomes, einkorn wheat has, you know, 14. The more heirloom variety the grain is, the less inflammatory it is. In this case, you know, modern red winter wheat damages your gut lining so much compared to these other, you know, types of wheat products. You know, if you've ever gone to Italy and had pasta and don't have stomach issues, that explains why. Uh, organic tofu, you know, which is water, organic soybeans, magnesium chloride, and calcium chloride. Honestly, it's, it's probably not too bad because it's mostly a protein component, uh, but we do know there's an omega-6 concern with soybeans. You know, there's various chemicals that are used to process it, as well as the actual estrogenic properties and anti-nutrient properties of soy. You know, soy is pretty much the pinnacle of anti-nutrients, you know, from phytates, it even has oxalates, I believe, uh, phytoestrogens, very bad for you. Expeller pressed canola oil, omega-6, very bad, very inflammatory, not good, no semblance of nutrients, has natural flavors, sea salt, uh, and then about 15 different seasonings uh, to make it taste like, you know, food. And it's interesting, they have a whole mineral profile here. You know, they add magnesium, calcium, potassium, and salt to try to replicate the elements and mineral profile of a natural food. Stuffing ingredients, water, brown rice, bread cubes, enriched wheat flour, molted barley flour, and a bunch of fortified ingredients. Uh, so brown rice, you know, we might have an arsenic or pollution concern. Again, rice is a starch, kind of hard on digestion, hard to break down by gut bacteria. Bread cubes, more inflammatory wheat, but no, this is reinforced wheat. 
and niacin, iron, thiamine, riboflavin, uh, folic acid. A big underlying issue in modern American diets right now is iron overload from all of these iron fortified foods. Not to mention the synthetic forms of these vitamins aren't good for you. And then in that stuffing are about a dozen other spices and ingredients that are attempting to make it taste good. You know, from sunflower oil to cane sugar to maltodextrin. I don't know how anyone can read the ingredient list and put this stuff in their mouth. It's crazy. Uh, gravy ingredients, water, whole wheat flour. Man, if you had any like intolerance to wheat or gluten whole, oh, man, this would destroy you. Uh, soy sauce, canola oil, natural flavors. Uh, again, 15, 20 different seasonings again. A lot of these ingredients are really being repeated over and over again in each of these. I, I, I'm just thinking of some sad, like, and I think I said this the other week, like some sad middle-aged person at home enjoying their tofurkey plant-based feast beside their family while, uh, <laughs> while the rest of their family is eating actual real food. Who puts tofu in cheesecake? What, what is wrong with these people? Cheesecake ingredients, organic tofu, cane sugar, expeller pressed canola oil. All of, I swear to God, all of these foods have the same ingredients in them. It's just slightly altered ratios and they form it into a different shape. Uh, pea protein, flour, cocoa powder, faba bean protein, and then 2% of vanilla extractives, coffee, lemon juice, lemon oil, lime juice, lime oil, sea salt, arrowroot flour, apple cider vinegar, citric acid, fermented corn starch, modified cream starch, cheese cake crust, brown rice flour, coconut oil, brown sugar, cocoa powder, sea salt. Yeah, there's a lot of ingredients in here. You know, overall, the wheat, very inflammatory. Any type of soy or vegetable seed oil, horrible for you. Every single one of these, you know, plant additives or plant extracts, each of those foods can be addressed on an individual basis for their anti-nutrient profile. I, I just can't believe that people genuinely think tofu and vegetable seed oils are healthy. And this is probably the biggest thing going on right now. We have been led to believe, you know, I can't believe it's not butter, all of these things, you know, the saturated fat dogma is still very strong in our modern culture. People think that these foods are healthy, but it's unfortunately the opposite. You know, it's literally the quickest way to a grave would be to eat this shit every day. Tofurkey gravy. Just gotta warm this up on the stove top. And we got our cheesecake too, so I guess I'll take this stuff out. Start a new tradition without even trying. If you do something twice in a row, it's officially a tradition. If this is your first tofurkey roast dinner, congratulations! You're halfway to a brand new tradition. It's good for our animal friends, good for the planet, and good for a sandwich the next day. <laughs> How sad is this shit? Tofurkey, plant-based holiday feast. Fork friendly. At least vegans know they won't have to use their blenders anymore. Honestly guys, I'm starting to get a little bit scared of vegan food and I'm, I'm getting discouraged from doing these videos. But you know, I didn't have like, as I said, you know, my, my girlfriend didn't want to dress up as a turkey and uh, I couldn't find like a pilgrim outfit or something cool for Thanksgiving. So I guess this is what we're doing. The Candida demon has been banished to the netherworld using prolonged omega-6 fatty acid oxidation. Unfortunately, now we have to eat the vegan dildo. Uh, so let's get it chopped up. Smells like soy sauce. How sad is that? All right, so I guess let's get our little Thanksgiving feast together. Well, here we go. I don't know why I do this for you guys. I guess a part of me is always curious, you know, from a culinary perspective, how bad this shit tastes. I guess if you go long enough without eating something, you put about anything down your throat. I, don't, I really don't know how to describe the texture of this. It's like pudding with a crust. Dry, dry pudding with a crust is a good textural description. <laughs> it literally tastes like a loaf of bread. It's so stupid. These fucking vegan, these vegan morons are paying $15 for a loaf of bread. Then again, I guess I'm the real moron here. All right, I guess let's give the stuffing a shot. The stuffing tastes like soft bread with some spices in it. I guess I should try the gravy on its own. Oh God, why do I do this? Tastes like some Chinese sauce gone wrong. Let's put some gravy on this hunk of demon shit and see what it tastes like. 
The thing is, they add so many spices, seasonings, salt, sugar, soy sauce. That's all it tastes like. You essentially have a blank slate. They add enough seasoning till it's somewhat palatable, and then they throw it on a plate. I honestly feel bad for anyone that's eating this tomorrow. I really do. Or, well, today, the video of the day is published. Let's dive into that cheesecake. Of course, it's got to be a chocolate cheesecake. Because vegan, I guess I guess you can't make a vegan cheesecake, right? I guess it would have to be a chocolate cheesecake, because there's you know there's no way to really make a vegan cheesecake, because you know cheese isn't vegan. Oh my god, that's so sweet. That tastes like really cheap, shitty chocolate cake mix. If you swallow that, man, oh man, you feel like death for three days. It's like chocolate frosting. It's so sweet. I can see though. I can see how. You know, a vegan, you know, you eat this whole shitty meal, stuffing yourself full of vegetable seed oils, carbs, you're still hungry, so then you have to macro dose yourself with like a bunch of sugar and even more vegetable seed oils. It's absolutely, absolutely crazy that they're able to serve this food to people or sell this food to people. So the ingredients are poison. It tastes like over seasoned chemical poison. And uh, I guess I'm gonna. You know, maybe I'll feed this to the skunk in my backyard. Maybe it'll poison him and I won't, uh, I won't get bothered anymore. So thank you guys for joining me. If you could please like the video. Uh, definitely subscribe if you haven't. Hit that bell icon. Share the video if you can. If you guys would like to support me further, definitely check out Frankie's Syringe Meat. High quality, nutrient dense animal foods at an affordable price. Uh, you can also go to Frankie's Naturals for minimal ingredients, minimally processed hygiene and cosmetic products. If you'd like to reach out to me for one-on-one -on -one health consultations, shoot me an email, frankatafano at gmail.com. Thank you guys for joining me today, and enjoy your Thanksgiving. Fuck this, man.